This video explains how to re-index a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you several examples. And for these examples, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to apply the data frame constructor to create some example data frame, as you can see in the second code box. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data has been created. And this data frame contains eight rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. And as you can see, the index values of this data frame are not ordered yet. So let's assume that we want to set a list as index values for this data frame. Then we first need to create a new list as the new index, as you can see in the next code snippet. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a new list object with eight list elements, which is called new index. And then I'm printing this index below. So as you can see, this index list contains eight different values. In the next step, I'm using the reindex function to set this new index list as the list values of our data frame. So after running these lines of code, we have created a new data frame called data new. And this data frame contains the values of our previously created list as indices. Alternatively to that, we can also use the reset index function to simply reset the index to a range from zero to the number of rows of the data frame, as you can see in the next lines of code. So as you can see in these lines of code, I'm using the reset index function. And within this function, I'm specifying the drop argument to be equal to true. So after running these lines of code, the index values of our data frame have been reset to a range from zero to seven. Alternatively, we can also sort the index values in our input data frame using the sort index function, as you can see in the last code snippet of this tutorial. So within the sort index function, we don't need to specify any additional arguments. So after running these lines of code, our data frame is sorted based on the index values. So please note, the index values are looking the same as in the previous example. However, in this example, we have also reordered the row values of our input data frame. So for instance, in the first row, the value 16 is appearing in the column x1, while in the previous example, we have kept the value 10 in the first row. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.